So yo, in this week of fairy tale, um, well, things started like happening a bit more, I guess. Like it felt very slow. Um, this chapter felt like sort of stuff we already knew. Um, the color page as well for what we saw in fairy tale that was nice. Like um, it was really cool. And you know, Natsu was like charging in with like the um, Atlas Flame, and he was saying, "Yo, like let's circle them around, let's get them." And I think the other dragon was called Morthurga or Morthurega. I really can't remember. And what happens is the two basically couldn't beat each other up since you know uh, Morthurga had the like adamantium armor apparently, and not to mention like as well. His like body is is a body of flame, so you know nothing's really gonna do against uh, anything. And he's like, yeah, you wouldn't want to take my hellfires um very lowly. As like freaking Atlas gave like a lot of um the flames to like um Natsu. So I guess you can say by consuming Atlas's fire, he has become more of the true dragon slayer. Like um by I mean true, I just mean that he's got more of his natural like power in it. If it's like actually from a dragon. This is going to increase his power probably about tenfold, as we see as he smashes the dragon like square, and, and I think he just like knocks it to the ground, I believe. And um, we see a bit of the king saying, "Yo, uh, this is like what the true festival of dragons is." You know, we see men fighting men, dragons fighting dragons, and men fighting dragons. And he was sort of losing hope in this, and not to mention as well like there was a thing with like Rogue where he was sort of. Losing himself his shadow. So I'm guessing like the future rogue is consumed by the shadow. And he's like saying what you know, his shadow was trying to convince him, saying, Yo, you're in the dark side, you're the king. And they also said as well that you cannot kill like we're not to kill you because you know you're gonna be the king. And what they had like earlier is that um because Ulatir and um, Melody has like come to a conclusion that they're gonna have to kill the present rogue. So the future one, since like time's out of wax, that should not really affect the timeline. And yeah, that's like I guess that's where I go. But that's the thing like with fairy tale, they don't really normally kill the characters. And I don't think Rogue is gonna die because of this. Like I just don't see it happening. Like it's just I feel like just um, this incident is just gonna repeat itself. But all two had a sort of a serious at the end. Saying, you know, I, there's no longer any choice. I'm just going to have to kill Rogue. It's the only option. So, do you think Rogue's actually going to die? I don't really think so. I'm not guaranteeing on it. I still like to see a bit more action, a bit more violence. It's gone a little bit more serious now with it, like with the whole, you know, Rogue stuff and as well with like um, Natsu as well. It isn't like more jokey than it has been. But it probably still will be when we get back to the other dragons. But. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this um, episode, but that's all from me, everyone, so thank you very much for watching. As always, remember, strap that up and uh, sign out, and I'll see you next time, people.